Hi, hello there, my name is Theo and welcome back to my reaction to the Dragon Prince Season 4, Episode 8. We are at the penultimate episode and last time was really intense. Less so for Callum and the group because the trials weren't really big hindrance to them. It was more so the interpersonal connections that were drained, I guess. Especially since Callum asked Rayla to, well, kill him if he ever gets controlled again, but that's been put to the side, so let's see if that ever comes up again. Probably. Other than that, we had some Terry and Viren conversations that were pretty fun. Terry realizing or discovering that he's really strong and saving Claudia after she got a talk from Soren. But in her hypocrisy, she's still against Alf, even though she's together with one. So I'm pretty sure at this point that she's using Terry. Oh, maybe there's some kind of ritual that she has to do in order for Viren to stay alive. And she has to sacrifice another person to do that. And that's what Terry's for. Oof, that would be kind of screwed up. But yeah, for now, Soren found out that Viren is still alive and didn't like that. And Callum and the group needs to face Rex Ignis without the sacrifice. Which makes me kind of nervous. But anyway... As always for now, the full length timer reactions are in this video, so just get to Netflix and get to the Dragon Prince and sync up your video to my timer and let's watch it together. And after all that, let's get right into the episode. Alright, welcome everybody to the Dragon Prince Season 4 Episode 8 full length reaction. And I'm gonna be starting the episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. Ba-bum. Thank you, Azron. Mm -hmm. Are we going to meet in this episode? I hope so. That was a wrong subtitle there. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> so Soren lost Viren twice now, after killing him once and then seeing him fall again. <laughs> Oh shit. Okay. I think it's time to accept that Callum as this what Viren is right now was just a one time thing. Rex Igneous. Okay, we're gonna meet him this episode. I'm so excited. Earth Dragons. Does he still spew fire or rock? Magma, maybe? <laughs> oh, you need to go to the toilet. Oh. Oh. Hmm. 
That's... Hmm. Nope. <laughs> That's... That makes things complicated. But it could have been secretly a friendly rivalry. <laughs> Moonstone that he picked up. Yes. As a horse or a wolf, dog. Oh, Canis, wolf, dog. Did I call it? Yes. Oh, that looks so cool. <laughs> nice. I almost like that better. <laughs> Gifts. Right. <laughs> mm. No. I mean, all right, let's see what happened here. But I'm not excited for Karim's plot. <laughs> oh, does she have an idea? About what Karim is up to. Please tell me that's the case. <sighs> uh. You're the asshole here. <sighs> Are we gonna get lore? Not yet. All right. Oh. Okay, dragons still like treasure. In one of the hot springs. And he thinks he's the king, or the brother, freeing his people from the king. I mean, I wouldn't be conflicted about Karen dying. I guess, I guess at least he isn't stabbing her in the back. 
I mean, at least he's doing it. And can be seen doing it. He might be sleeping and you're disturbing his rest. I figured he would be in there. Ooh. He looks fun. Don't attack. Okay, that design is very cool. Oh, he's he's more of a wyvern with drag uh wing legs. Mm-hmm. Her swords? Ah. Oh. Oh, Rune and his, his husband. I didn't know those blades were so special. They just seemed like the like a fun magic item. All right then, words, speak. You could mention that Ebus is dead, that it was his. Would probably make it a bit better. His crown. Yes. <laughs> Call it. Oh. There's no way that they have to give up all of that, right? Right, enough fear tree. Well, doesn't seem good. <laughs> oh, I guess we're not gonna get any Viren and Sauron this episode. Or Claudia. Terry. <laughs> that was odd.
Oh. She would just... I mean, it... Hmm. it would be nice if Karim just said, I want the crown, and she just gives it to him without any bloodshed. But Karim isn't great as a leader. <gasps> I thought that, that boomerang wind stick. I love the amount of Easter eggs. Ah. Not nice. Come on. Nope. <laughs> So, uh, jelly tart. Yes. Just throw them in. All right, situation solved. I hope. <laughs> I think the question is going to piss him off. Yep. You need to give him more information about your purpose. Did someone explain why you're doing that? Yep. Uh. Oh, were the Dragon King and him both waiting for a surveyor? Ah, <laughs> he doesn't even know that. Oh. About that. Oh. <laughs> Interesting perspective from Rex Ignis. So he doesn't hate humans?
Uh, oof. Someone tell him that every sound of my dad. Yes, and? Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, you're gonna have to kill your brother first. <laughs> what now? <laughs> I don't know what two cakes would mean, even. <laughs> Good save. Nope. Just <laughs> someone interrupt him. Yep. Yes. <laughs> of course. Secretly friends or previously friends. Oh. 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 Backstory. Yes. <laughs> I want more of that. Yep, because every dragon only has one part of the puzzle. <sighs> You're an idiot, Karim. Uh, Amaya. That's not good. No, she didn't. What? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Scroll. <laughs> oh, fuck. Of course, she's here. Big dragon battle against someone. Oh, <laughs> she's 
Shit. Oh no. That's um, Doctor Strange magic. Oh, she's so powerful now. Don't fall asleep now. I guess dragons are unaffected. Oh, nope. Everyone's affected. Shit. No. Fuck, next episode is gonna be intense. <laughs> Two cakes. Yeah, Rex is getting presents. This weird thing. At least Rayla isn't losing her weapons. That'll be weird. <laughs> well, all right. Well, all right. Rex Igneous has Sokka's boomerang and Ang's wind stuff. That's, that's an amazing Easter egg. I loved it. That was definitely the highlight of the episode for me. At least from a fun perspective. <sighs> but yeah. Let's get the Karim stuff out of the way. First he talks about killing her in a duel. Then Janai is like, I don't want to be queen. Gets convinced by Amaya that she does want to be queen. And have Amaya. And then, well, Karim's plan to, I guess, make his sister give up without even killing him. is gonna backfire immensely and he's gonna find himself in the battle. And I can't imagine Janai being willing to kill him. So, there might be some sparing going on, exiling maybe. Oh god, what if Karim gets exiled and allies with Claudia to re-release Erebus? Ugh, that might be fucked up. <laughs> but anyway, we had our gifts to Rex Ignis. By the way, I was very proud that I called that he's hiding in the hot springs because he's just that bored. And I really miss hot springs and onsen and everything from Japan. I really want to go back there again. But yeah, enough about that. We had the gifts. And I didn't know that Rayla's daggers, swords, were that special. I mean, they were pretty fun. You know, they could transform into hooks, back into a sword, and really awesome stuff. They were a fun magic item, I guess. But if I'm correct, they were given to her by Runan and his husband, who... Still, by the way, Runen is a coin, I think. Shouldn't they have dealt with that by now? Turn him back? Or I guess that's for the finale, because Raider's parents should also be coins if I'm right. And yeah, the, the backstory that you gave to the source were, was pretty nice. Callum kind of flubbed it with just saying that it's important to him without telling him that Ibis died. And he, he actually knows the Sky Arcanum, so he can use it without the stuff. And yeah. But I really like the backstory of Ezran's crown and I guess I realized that his crown was, well, not silver, but gray, steel gray and not golden like Viren and his dad's before him was. And we get some lore back story, I guess, as well, that Ezran really looks like the human that helped jail Erevos for the first time. And I really hope we get that story like in its completion as well. But one thing I think confuses me, don't want to get too much into it because I guess I could rile up some really gross people with that, but I think Ezran and Callum's mom was part of the royal bloodline, correct? Callum's dad disappeared, died, whatever, and then Ezran's dad came in, and Ezran really resembles his dad, and also the human that was 
integral to sealing Erebus the first time, and his mom, who was part of the royal bloodline, doesn't. So either that means that that human didn't go on to create the kingdom of Catullus, or any human kingdom, or... I mean, no or. Ezra and Callum's mom just doesn't resemble that girl at all, I think. So yeah, some weird stuff. But maybe an explanation for why Ezra has these Vork powers and Callum doesn't. Maybe those are from that ancestor. That's probably it, yeah. Now I'm really interested in the backstory of Ezra's dad as well. I still have my theory that Ezra's dad actually is the bird now, and that Viren did force this soul transfer spell on him to save him later. So I'm. Well, I'll still be surprised when it happens, but I can already anticipate that Ezra instead might come back alive at the end of the show. Maybe when Viren finally dies and he gets to have some closure with him. But yeah, once again, jelly tarts, or brown tarts, whatever they were called, <laughs> were able to save the day. And, well, Rex Ignis gave them a riddle, which Callum figured out. It, it's a map. But that was too late, and Claudia was really fast apparently, because, well, maybe Claudia just didn't camp while doing the trials. Oh, she probably didn't have to wait for the lava. Yeah, that's it. So I really want to know what Soren is up to now, with Viren and Terry probably on the surface? Or no. They know that Rex Igneous is down there, so she probably wouldn't go in alone. Would probably have help from Viren and Terry. I mean, one of them would probably watch Soren. Uh, so I guess the group is finally gonna meet Terry next episode. <sighs> yeah, but it's rough. Claudia is so fucking evil now. And I like that they didn't undercut this moment again with, you know, her kind of humor. I guess that's been one of the points that's been going on my nerves a little bit. But it's not happening this time. So I really like that. And I'm really excited for the next and final episode of this season. Then we have to wait again. But probably not as long as last time. Because I did say that after season, after season 3, they got all the budget to do up to 7 seasons now. Including the 3 we've got. And they wanted to work on production to get the next 4 seasons out in as little time as possible from the start of season 4, so that everything lines up correctly. So I'm really excited for that. But yeah, next time it's the finale. I hope you're gonna be with me, and I'll see you there. Bye bye.